Well, hello YouTube, it's Herpzerp here with another episode in Spy Vaults, and we're here on one of my very favorite missions that Digital Extremes has ever published in Warframe, Pavlov Earth. <laughs> I actually just found um, yet another one of my recurring reasons why I love this mission, which is a little music puzzle room with, this, with these big chimes that you can activate. And so I already, I already completed the puzzle because I wasn't interested in showing it to you guys, but it spawned a nice rare cache right here once I've, once you finish that. <laughs> so that's, there's so many little easter eggs with the orc and vaults and all the different things, all the halls of ascension and what they, whatever they call them in here. Any rate. So yeah, so come, come to Earth. You'll love it. Ah, uh, alright, so here we are in the first spy vault. This is... Well, it took me the longest to figure out a method to finish. But... Be on the lookout for localized continuity disturbances. You may be able to turn these to your advantage. Localized continuity disturbance spotted. There's one right there. Alright. So, thank goodness, just like every other vault in existence, um, Digital Extremes has am sure that there are multiple ways to do every one of this these vaults. I'm going to show you... Yeah, this console's been severely damaged. I can't get anything out of it unless I go back in time. Somehow, if I set up the alarms back in time, I also set up the alarms in this time. Don't ask me how that works, logically speaking. Anyway, so, if you've never played this mission before, you're going to see these little humming things, these little blue, strange rifts. And if you go through them you respawn in a different version. Back in the Orkin time, when this entire thing was not all destroyed and moonlike, but rest assured you can't get out and get go meet some Orkin people, unfortunately. If someone figures out a way to do that, I would much like it. So the first thing we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna also we need to talk about is these little void rifts. If you shoot them or melee them, you can actually invert the polarity. So there we go. I went back that way. Go back here. Like I said, there are multiple ways to do this. So I've actually brought a very specific loadout, and it was for this particular vault. Uh, it's a tutorial vault. That's what I'm going to call it. It's the tutorial vault because this room is literally a training room. If you saw this little, the little uh, thing when I hit the button here, it said "Begin Training," and the reason why is because they have, they're actually training you, teaching you how to wall latch. So. There's that. And then you can latch onto this one. Shoot that. You can latch onto this one. And shoot it again. Oh wow, that's a bad angle. And so on and so forth. I'm not actually gonna try and go through the whole course. If you do go through the whole course without setting up these alarms, then eventually this little tube here. At that eventually that little box will go into this little recess right here. Once you've done seven or eight of those wall hang tiles in a row, if you follow off you start over. And then once you do that, it will open this door and so you can go through the rift and get back in here. Or you can attempt or it will also activate this puzzle right here. And this puzzle right here can be a little difficult because it requires you to do the uh, do a wall latch in each of these and each of these in turn while a set of lasers from this that that cube right there goes around in a circle clockwise and follows you around the room. If you can do it, then you can get go straight through this wall here and hack uh, hack everything immediately. It's very very difficult, which is why we brought Nova so that we can do some different things. So we're going to so what we're going to do is we're going to do this the other way. There's always two ways to do vaults, and in this case the other way is very important. And this is also why I brought this specific loadout from Pavlov. Now, as you can see, I brought Nova. So I have a, I have a Warframe with the mobility ability. This is actually this is actually easier, I would say, if you were to use um, a Limbo or a Loki. But Nova is certainly certainly effective. I've also brought the Dread for one-shot power. Paris Prime will work too. Or just any regular bow. Saranos would be excellent. Wrecked Saranos. Because... We're going to have to face some of these little dudes. Oh, sh shoot, I think he almost saw me. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's looking at me. Drat. Please don't turn around. There we go. Okay, so there are two of these things. There's one on this side and one on the other side of the room. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take out each of those guys so they don't see us and trigger some alarms. So, I'm going to start. Go where I wanted it to. 
Okay. That's exactly where I wanted that. So, you can obviously just parkour through these rooms too. There are, uh, once we get around to the other side, the hazards make it so that I would much rather use a Warframe mobility ability to do this than just straight up parkour, and I'll show you why. The only time I, I can do a straight up, I would rather do straight up parkour is with Limbo. Now, obviously, if you are amazing at Warframe, you can do whatever you want. Ugh! Got him! Okay. Now this is much less stressful, because there's no way we can set off the alarms except by running into them. And if we use the mobility, Nova, we should be okay. So I want to go over there. Alright, so here's where we just here's where we just ended up. You can obviously use the zip lines, you can avoid these moving lasers. As you can see, this was the trap from the previous room. Although it's all destroyed now. And there's you can get over to this particular hole in this wall here. So here we're at in the same room. As you can see, it's still fuzzed through this version, and there's no way to get through it. But now that we have these big white things that have I don't know what this I don't know what to call it. Destroyed everything. You're ready to go. Now there's one there is one thing to be worried about is if if you're going to try this vault with with for example a limbo, this electrified rock will still electrocute you and most likely most likely kill you in one or two seconds of standing on it. <laughs> um, I've seen people do this with a Wukong too. It's fairly easy to do with a Wukong, but not ridiculously easy. I'm just gonna pick a good spot where the lasers don't seem to be yeah, that spot looks good. Let's see if I can go over there. Okay, crouch down. Yep, if I stand up, I think I'm still okay. Alright, so now, what we need to do is we need to get to this hole in the wall over here. So, I could just parkour that. Obviously, it's, always, like I've been saying, it's always safer to use anything than the involving mobility in this particular vault. And there you go, I got past that rock. So... Now we're at our damaged console, but as you can see, there is one of these void rifts that lets us go back directly back in time while within the vaults. And hack it right here. And there you have it. I don't think I've really talked about high level hacking so far. But as you can see, Excellent. as you can see, the, my method for doing it is to pick one of the pick one of the ones around the edge, one of these corpus or orc and ciphers. Pick one of the little three prongs hexagons around the edge. Line that one up, then go around in a direction from that. I think I would just went clockwise there. Not positive, wasn't paying attention. And then once you have all six of the ones around the edge lined up, it should be fairly easy to figure out what the, what shape the centerpiece is supposed to be in. At any rate, so that was the tutorial vault, and as you can see, it opened up that nice little thing for me to get out right there. So, there you have it. We are now on our way to getting all those nice Acolyte mods. And that was, so that's the first Orc in a Vault. <laughs> These are a, a lot of fun with all the different ways to phase in between in and out of different timelines and all the different puzzles and little bits of, little bits of Orc and interest in there. So, hope you guys enjoyed, enjoy watching these as much as I enjoy making them. Alright, peace out YouTube, Herp Derp out.